COVID, I can't imagine that you're 19 today. And Corona, you going on 20. Two good young people, but caused the wall in so much uproar. Caused the wall at a standstill. March 2020, everything just stopped. No school, no walk, no beach, no party, no social activity, no church, no church, no church. Well, 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 Miss Gwen, literally the whole world stopped. The worrying, the panicking, the wandering. Wait a minute. Hmm. Really? Is this really for real? Hmm. What are we going to do? Where are we going to get money from? To pay the bills, to buy the food, and to take care of the children? My dear, you really think this is bad? <laughs> what about the church? You know this is the one place when crisis rise the people run to. They run to the church. Peace, hope, faith. Okay, okay, okay. The only thing we can do right now is to hope and trust that this thing soon pass and the cough you soon lift. It is frightening, real frightening. And a child of God, it's really frightening. <laughs> but wait, let me think. You know what? As we just say, we frighten as children of God, but you know, we can look at the brighter side. We can really look at the brighter side. We could start hoping, hoping and trusting that all of these stuff can be put into parts. Can all these stops be put into parts? Yes, it can turn around. But how will all this happen? How will all this happen? On Sunday, 21st of October, 2018, in the 8 a.m. service, right at Crisis the Answer Family Church, that red and white tent across the road. Elder Adri, I don't mean Attorney General, I mean Elder Alston Griffith, he was the speaker. So really, what does this service have to do with all that is happening around us now? You know Elder Alston. He always liked to break down his sermon. So this Sunday morning, he talked about hope. He said the H is where Jesus healed. He, the O is where he opened up the blinded eyes. The P is where he protect and he provide. So with all of those things that we hear, you know that we could hold on to God because he provides every ounce of our needs. Then he went on to say, the E, Jesus extend his hands. What a loving father and savior he is. That is who we have to put our hope in. He says, and I quote, God can turn people's stuff into parts and fill them up. God can turn things around. Then he, to, bring it, to bring it closer home. It was on May 3rd, 2020. I remember very well that morning. I was lying on my bed. I think you was lying in your bed too. When Reverend Edwin Bullin, he, his scripture reading came from Psalms 27 under the team. The team that morning was hope in the midst of our battle. Here we are again talking about hope. Was this something planned with these, these men of God? But as we go on, Reverend Bullen said, and as I quote again, as long as we remain committed to God, when all our resources and our reserves runs out, 
God will replenish and restore us. You asking about replenish? Yes, replenish means that he can fill them up again. So right now our basket, bread basket and everything seems empty and down. But this is what he says. He reminds us that God can fill them up. He also says that God's resources is always full. God has a secure and a special place for us. We are God's children. So what is keeping us from and letting God turn our stuff into part? I don't see nothing impossible there. Not with God in it. You know what you are saying is so true. You know. Exactly. Nothing should. If we... This is what he said about parts. This is go back to Brother Alst, Pastor Elder Alston. This is what he said about the parts. As I said before, he likes to break down his things, right? So he said, once we P, the P is that we pray every day. And when we pray, we don't just pray like that. We pray for the protection and the provision. Everything we need, we pray for. He said the O is to be obedient. Read the word of God and obey the word of God. The T, we thank God for everything, great and small, good or bad, pray and um, give thanks for it. The supplication, he said, is due. This is where we make our requests be made known unto God in honest and with a humble heart. Make a humble petition. This is when we go down on our needs and we seek God's face for what we need. But after all, COVID-19 and Corona ain't all that bad, you know? It gave us some positive too because it helped us to think. It helped us to introspect and all those hidden things inside of us to search ourselves and to bring them out. Look at the talent we are seeing here. God bless. No more stops but parts.